Hello, I'm Bruce Pepich. I'm Executive Director and Curator of Collections at the Racine Art Museum in Racine, Wisconsin. It started as the Charles A. Worcester Museum of Fine Arts, which opened in 1941. In 2003, we opened a second campus, RAM, in downtown Racine as the home for what is now the largest collection of contemporary craft to be found in any art museum in the United States. One of the key figures who was instrumental in this institution achieving national and even international attention for its commitment to contemporary craft was Karen Johnson Boyd, a lifelong resident of the city of Racine. Over a 40 year period of time, she donated over 1,700 works of art to this museum's permanent collection. To honor her, the museum is hosting a show in which it has filled the entire interior gallery space with pieces she gave us during that 40 year time period. Now we've only been able to bring out a little over 300 examples, but it still makes a major impact on the viewer when they look around the galleries to see what a commitment this donor had to sharing artwork with the public. This is the work of Mariko Kusumoto. The piece is titled Biobu. Mariko was born and raised in Tokyo. Now Biobu references 19th century British children's toys and printed paper toy theaters, dollhouses, and all of those participatory type structures. What we have here is a sculpture depicting a Japanese theater. So that what you do is you set the stage up and you can add and subtract different elements. The piece is never the same thing twice because you're constantly arranging and rearranging the scrims and props, even the costumes that can be added and subtracted from the surfaces of the figures. Jack was born and raised and continues to live today in rural Ohio. And many of the characters that he creates in his representational sculpture are people from the country, farmers, people who live in rural areas. Karin published a book on his aesthetic concepts and his life history, and they were long and good friends. The title of this sculpture is Carrot Finger. If you look, the main index finger on his left hand is a carrot, it's not flesh. Well, there's a whole story that comes with the piece about a man who falls asleep in the forest whose fingers nibbled on by a rabbit. A new acquisition to the museum's collection is this game table and four chairs by the American furniture artist Silas Kopp. Now this is not a gift from Karen Johnson Boyd. This is a gift from the Allen and Virginia Bueller family here in Racine. They were a long, long time friends of Mrs. Boyd and they have donated this set of furniture in her honor. Now this game table and four chairs has um, an inlaid checkerboard top on the table for playing uh, chess and checkers. But what is the show-stopping aspect of this work are the backs of the chairs, which depict musicians playing four different musical instruments. Now, these images are not painted, they are not printed, they are not dyed, they are inlaid wood. Bueller and Boyd families would frequently uh, go to music concerts together, and so this represents their lives together as lifelong friends. This is a very early Chihuly work from about 1965. You might not recognize what it is, but it's actually a functional blown glass wine carafe with a stopper. However, if you look at the elements that make up his chandeliers, some of them are loop-like and floral-like and shell-like forms that have a visual relationship to this grandfather that predates them by, you know, 40, 50 years now. This show is something very personal for me as well because I worked with Karen Boyd through the 40 years that she was making contributions to this institution and many of these pieces represent conversations we would have about the work and dialogue. She was adamant about supporting artists 
in creating new work. At the same time, she was just as committed to sharing a vast array of objects that represented artists whose work interested her, stimulated her, puzzled her, and made her smile.